I'm getting in the water. That is a giant, guys. We're gonna try to catch fish out of this tiny ditch, literally on the side of the road. It is very windy. And also, the water is very dirty. So it's, it's gonna be hard to, hard to see. Oh yeah, there's fish right here. Okay, we're gonna do two things. First thing I'm gonna do is throw a worm under a bobber because there's a little bit of current going through here. I'm just going to try to have something passively fishing for us. Now, typically, I don't like you to use hooks that have barbs on the shank when fishing worms because they can rip off easier. But that's what I got tied on right now. So that's what we're using. I imagine these fish can see me. All right, we're going to toss the worm over here in the current like that and just let it sit bail open. And in the meantime, got a little power bait shad jig. And I'm gonna throw, first I'm gonna try to sight fish this bass right here. Try to put it in front of his face, see if he'll bite it. This is first cast. Oh, he's interested, he's following. He followed it. All right, we got a window where the wind just died off. Let's see if we can get him to commit to that he's showing a lot of interest I believe I believe we could do it I'm gonna try to come from this side again use the wind to my advantage he literally bit at the air okay let's try to get it right in front of his face here got him got him there he is we got him. Oh, there we go. First fish. Oh man, Shad fell right out of his mouth. There he is. The beautiful little ditch pickle right on the road. Road is, I mean, literally cars are driving behind me. Um, that's the only one I could see in here. I'm willing to bet there's more. Success at the first spot, we did get a fish. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna pull up my maps and Try to see if there's something else along here where it kind of meets any kind of bridge, spillway, dam, anything like that's where I want to fish. So we're going to move around and find some fish. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what that is, but it's big. It just swam away from me. Yep, there are some big tilapia, it looks like, all up in here. See if we can get some, maybe some bread out. I don't know if I should be throwing the jig right now. I don't think, I think we'll get them. Literally in like the two minute car ride over here, this worm is completely dried up. I'm gonna throw this, oh my gosh, so many of them. What the heck, those are some wicked looking fish. Tilapia can be finicky to say the least. Should have brought the fly rod. I might try some bread. Nah, probably a worm. They seem like they're going crazy for stuff right now. So maybe they'll attack something moving. Okay, let's just try that. I'm gonna try to ambush from up top. Oh my gosh, dude, that thing is freaking huge. Oh, there's a little bass too. There is large mouth. And maybe a carp in there. All right, I'm gonna cut this worm in half. They seem like they're being a little finicky. We're gonna just drop the rod off this edge and just open bail like that, leave it, and we'll come back here and watch this rod, which has a bobber on it. I don't know if bobber is the right move, if they're being finicky. The less stuff we can put in their face, the better. Just to kind of, you know, change up. I'm using the two of the same baits 
and they're not biting that bait at all today or right now then i'm kind of setting myself up for failure so all right this one we might be able to go from back here like right there and you can actually see that from right here so we'll be able to see if anything picks it up nah i want to go a little further back Oh, there's like a thousand freaking carp right there. I gotta be extremely quiet. Comic carp swimming right up to my bait. Just swam right past my bait. Two carp swimming right by each other. One male, one female. I just put a piece of bread right in their path. We'll see if they take it. Oh! <gasps> Got him! Oh my gosh, that's a big fish! Oh my gosh! That is a big fish, guys! Oh! Oh my gosh! The other one just spooked. I don't know how well I have him hooked. I feel like he was like spitting it out as I hooked him. Oh my gosh, he's swimming right towards me now. Oh, he's dipping, he's dipping. This is eight pound line too. This is my heavier line. Oh my God, dude, stop it. I gotta walk down with him. Oh shoot, what am I gonna? Oh, this is not good. Come on, dude, don't do that come my way i didn't bring a net either i did not think guys were going to be catching fish like this come on no 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 he's swimming right towards the tunnel dude i need you not to go to the tunnel right here Ooh, almost just died no dude 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 this way this way this way this way i cannot i cannot get him to turn oh my gosh you guys i literally cannot turn him i cannot have you go in the tunnel dude that's how we lose this battle come on Come on, here we go, right up to me, right up to me. Now, how are we gonna get you out? If I can get him up close enough to this bank, I could probably grab him. Oh my gosh, he just doesn't care, dude. There he is, right here. I, I, every time I'm like, do I need to bring my net? Nah, I'm not gonna catch anything big. And then every time I need my net, I should have just brought it. Let's see if I can get him right here. All right, we got him up on the edge now. No, stay here, stay here. Ah, oh, man. And then I'm gonna reach down to go grab him and he's just gonna probably peel off. Or I'm gonna fall in the freaking water. Oh my gosh. We got him, guys. I was nervous for a second. Dude, look at this fish. Look at that gorgeous common carp out of this little ditch right here. That is a quality, I mean, I'd probably give him, probably give him seven pounds. What an awesome fish. Thank you for the awesome fight. And we're gonna go get him back in nice and safe. Thank you for putting up that amazing fight. There he goes. What an awesome fish. Woo! Let's go, baby. All right, well, since everything at the spot is probably beyond spooked right now, I'm gonna walk up this little stretch to see if I can maybe sight fish one more carp. I doubt it's gonna happen. We're gonna try, but if not, we're gonna make our way to another spot. Pretty much anywhere that this ditch meets the road, we're just gonna be jumping around, finding the fish, try to get on some fish, and then moving to the next spot. All right, guys, there's a little bass sitting right here i don't know if he would chase something you know we're gonna go from the other side actually i don't know if he would chase something like this shad well at this point i couldn't get anything else to bite the bass was just kind of sitting there I couldn't get any more carp walked up and down the little creek here but i did run into this couple who watch my videos and they hooked me up with some jig heads since i had just run out super cool people if you guys are watching this thank you so much it was nice meeting you guys but i decided it was time to find another spot to go fish so pulled up the maps Found another spot that connects the road and that's where we went. All right, 
see what's up with this spot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There are some freaking huge carp in there. It's going to be so hard not to spook them. I don't have my big camera set up yet or anything, but real quick, I'm just going to try to throw a piece of bread down there in front of them. The problem is there's a little tunnel in there that has a, uh, has like bars in front of it. If they decide to peel under, under the bridge in there, probably SOL. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them. All right. Got a pretty big piece of bread here. Dude, those are huge. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get them without spooking them. I feel like dropping this in there is going to spook them. There are, oh my God, there's so many of them. Oh, oh, oh. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, he turned away. I think I'm going to try both corn real fast. There's one swimming right in front of me. Just throw some of that corn water in there. Get some of that saltiness in the water. And then that's not what I wanted. Throw some corn back in there and not bounce off of it. Preferably. There we go. All right. Oh, the, oh my gosh. He's going crazy for the corn already. All right. We're going to throw one right in front of his face right now. Oh, they're going ham. Dude, they're going ham for this corn. They all just came out. This is why you got to chum. They all just came out and they're going crazy, eating every last piece of corn. So we're going to throw that one down there and just watch it. I'm going to get my other rod set up with some corn on it too. They didn't look like crazy interested in the bread, but the corn, man, they're... I'm watching them literally devour it. It's almost all gone. I just threw a couple handfuls in. It's like a vacuum. Oh, I just missed him. Oh, dang it. Okay. He just bit it though. Just bit it. Dude, all the corn is freaking gone already. He just munched it all. And I'm going to throw a bunch in the general area. Ooh, that one's got all kinds of crazy spots on him. All right, I just threw a bunch of corn down there. Now we're gonna wait. Hopefully they come back out, start eating. All right. Oh, he's going straight towards it, guys. Straight towards it. Oh, he turned away. Turned away last second. Oh, he's on. Oh my gosh, guys. That is a giant. That is a giant. No, don't. Oh, shoot. He's under the bridge. Oh no, dude. I'm getting in the water. That is a giant, guys. That could be PB. Whoa, I gotta be careful. All right, we're in the water. I really hope he doesn't snap me off. This is not, this is four pound line guys. And a monster on the other side of it peeling under a tunnel right now. If we can't get this one, we probably just spooked all of them. This is on the jig head. Oh my gosh, I can hear him splashing around back there. We're just gonna finesse it. We're not gonna rush him. We're not gonna force anything. We're just gonna let him tire himself out. Let's try to slowly pull him our way. He's swimming my way right now. This is the one I was talking about that had spots all over it. We're knee deep right now in a ditch. Oh, he's swimming totally my way. Oh no. Okay, no, we're good. I thought I got stuck. Just moving him a couple inches at a time. Reeling on the way down. All right, so he's coming my way. Oh, see, now he's pulling away from me. So we're just, we're not reeling as we're pulling on him. We're just pulling and then reeling on the way in, getting some of that slack out. Keep in tension the whole time. This is how you, I get a lot of questions on how I catch big fish on light line. This is how. People will sit there and reel, you hear this? That's nothing happening. That sound is absolutely nothing happening. So we're just gonna pull on him like this. And then we're gonna reel once we've come my way a little bit. We're gonna keep the tension, pull him my way. 
got to be real gentle when you're fishing light line like that real on the way down like that boom oh he's right here he's right here on me he's right on my legs right on my legs now guys look at him look at that bad boy that bad boy that's pb okay he's got a second life right now once he sees me realizing that i've muscled him out oh no see and this is this is the problem is if i if he goes under that bridge and wraps me around one of those poles it's over that's game so i really got to try as hard as i can not to get him under that bridge or wrapped around that log oh he's under the bridge again he's out again he's out of the bridge we're just going to hold tension we're not going to try to make him go my way we're just going to try to tire him out by keeping tension and we're going to we're going to do a step back more so that we have more room to get him away from that bridge once he comes back out again so that way when he peels away he has more room that he has to go till he gets under that bridge again there he is you guys see him that is a huge fish and i feel like this would be much harder to do if we were not in the water see he's taken off again yep he sees me he knows he knows what's coming for him uh, yep Th this is pretty common with fish you think they're tired you think you tired them out you think you got them on their last leg and as soon as they see you and then they're gone they're gone again I feel like i'm stuck I'm getting a little worried i haven't felt any tugs for a second he might have me wrapped around something even though we got him all the way out here we're gonna have to go all the way back in and uh, potentially unwrap ourselves from a something because if he decides to pull while we're wrapped around something it's just gonna snap the line oh, i think he's right here yeah he's right here and i think he is stuck in something yep he's kind of got himself stuck so we're gonna see very very gently here we're gonna see if we can try to pull him out all right let's see if we got him out there he is we got him guys you can see that chig head in his mouth <laughs> uh, i owe it to you out of a little roadside ditch guys that was an exhausting fight whole flight was about 10 minutes long and then getting up and down the canal is pretty exhausting but you guys we got him i'm not gonna keep him out of the water too long because last time i had my arms getting down now i do not okay all right here he goes here he goes Well guys, normally I catch quite a bit of fish for my videos. I usually shoot for like six or more. I wanna end the video on a banger with that fish. Uh, I doubt any of the fish here are gonna be biting for a while. Cause usually with these carp, once you catch one and it puts up a fight like that, especially when it went under the bridge several times, those fish are probably spooked for a while. So we're gonna call it there. Three fish. One on the artificial, which is cool because I don't really use artificials much on my channel. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. And I will see you next week.